Pepper says, are you ready to organize and clean in this master bedroom? I know mommy is, but I'm going to take a little snooze while she's doing it. The past couple of weeks, we've been doing a lot of decluttering and organizing in this master bedroom. And we're going to continue to clean and organize over here where I keep a lot of my personal things. I've decluttered this space multiple times and it stays neater for longer, but the messes always seem to return. Hello everybody. So for the month of February, we have been doing this like master bedroom reset theme and we've been decluttering it and now we're going to to reorganize it because now that I understand that I am a butterfly and that's what works best with my ADHD and organizing aesthetic, we're going to be rearranging some of the hot spots in my master bedroom. Now, I wanted to take this moment and say that this video is dedicated to declutter with Jennifer. She is always sending these beautiful messages in the comment section and I'm just so grateful for your super thanks donation and I just want to say thank you so much for being such a good friend to me during this healing journey because honestly that's what I'm doing. I am recovering in my hoarding disorder and I am grateful to all of you who give me this loving support because it truly just fuels my heart to keep going. And it also fuels my creative side to keep trying something new and the idea that I had was I should remove all of this old stuff from my dresser drawers I've had this dresser since sixth grade and there's some stuff in here that is really old like the Nokia phone yes hello 2000 how are you so I thought instead of using the nightstand as storage I should put those sentimentals in one of my pink polka dot bins and put it in the basement and then I can use these organizers inside of it for things that I use every day now I knew this was going to be a trip down memory lane so a lot of this stuff I am going to keep but hey here is another Amazon gift card but luckily we already used it now in this bedroom so far I did find a $50 Amazon gift card that's fully charged and then two Starbucks gift cards that had $10 each. Now this wallet is from college so I didn't expect to find too much money in it but I did find some quarters in the pocket but overall when we were decluttering I had found over $300 in cash that I had kind of squirreled away and I took it to the bank to make it a safe deposit. Now there is a lot of very old sentimental stuff in here and I never stored it in the basement because the basement used to get water in it and I was so scared that it would get destroyed. But since we put the new gutters on, we have not gotten water in there. So now I feel safe putting it in there. And in case you ever wondered what a very young Miss Hart looked like in her college years, well, I had blonde curly hair. <laughs> now I tried cleaning the bottom of this drawer, but the more I was rubbing, the more I was smearing this red stuff, which I knew what it was. It was from an old pen from the 90s that had all those feathers, and the feathers basically deteriorated and kind of melted. So I did the best that I could, but I think what's best is that I'm actually gonna put liner in this so it looks better. So now on to the next drawer, and it's more of the same. A lot of things that are very old and near and dear to me, especially these cards that Brandon had made me. There's a lot of cards in here, so I think I'm going to have a separate bin with all the handmade cards that Brandon and Tyler made me. And I laughed when I found the original ad to this My Little Pony that I bought in 2005. And guess what? Yup, I still have her on my shelf. I sure did hold on to everything. So now that the drawers are empty, Hubby's gonna take them out and put the contact paper on the bottom of it so it looks a lot better. But as he pulled it out, he told me, he was like, uh-uh, you ain't done. There's some stuff at the bottom of this. And I was like, oh my gosh, is that ketchup on the floor? Is there legit a packet of ketchup? And yes, that is an immediate tossy tossy. And I don't eat in my bedroom, but I will dump my purse out and clean it out in my bedroom. So. 
that's what I found. And then I saw how much dirt and dust there was. And lately when I've been sleeping in my bedroom, I have been having such sinus congestion and stuffed up noses. So I thought, you know what? I better take this time to vacuum all of this dust and see if it helps me. Now, Miss Pepper is not gonna be very happy that mommy has to run the vacuum, but she'll forgive me and go back to sleep because I really needed to get this up. Now, I quickly wanted to talk about my ADHD and how people have different behaviors to their mental disorder. The people that I know who have ADHD are almost OCD clean. They have to keep the space clean and neat and tidy. If not, it triggers their anxiety. But of course, they don't have hoarding disorder where I did. So I'm trying to flip that around because they also said that that helped them with their extra energy, which does kind of create an anxiety alongside of it. And I know that a lot of people stress clean anyway. So as I try to change my hoarding habits, you can never erase a habit. You can replace it with one that is healthier. So I'm trying to use all that extra ADHD energy to stress clean myself and organize and exercise and journal as just another form of releasing that nervous energy so that I feel really good about myself because now the dresser looks a lot better and all the dust and all the debris that was in this section is now gone and we can start to organize. Now, these are all the organizers that I already have. A majority of them are from Dollar Tree and some of them are also from Target. Now, this is the first time I have ever, ever done this. So as I was putting the trays in the spot, I really had to reflect on my behaviors and what did I do in this space in my master bedroom? What do I habitually do at night when I'm unwinding and even in the morning time? Well, I read a lot, but when I read a lot, I get a lot of inspiration to write ideas down. So it's good to have this empty notebook ready on hand. That's why you saw so many scraps of paper because I had to hurry up and write it before I forgot the idea. And of course, that means I need to have pens nearby too. And of course, in January, we had some sicknesses and I've also have been having a lot of nasal congestion at night. So I'm going to be putting these medicine type things and also essential oils that I use a lot and also my scrunchies because sometimes in the middle of the night I get hot and I gotta put my hair up in a ponytail to try and cool myself off and I also needed a home for my earbuds wireless and wire because I will put them on every time I go walking in spring summer and fall and in my bedroom is where I change into my workout clothes and lastly are a lot of my prayer cards because I do have anxiety and sometimes right before bed, I like to read them. Now that that's done, let's go to the bottom drawer. And I thought, oh, I should put my books in here because you see them all over the floor all of the time. And since this is the area that I seem to clean out my purse, I always put the spare change in here. You have always seen this on the floor for years. Next is my essential oil organizer that my friend had gotten me because I do love my oils and I also have a diffuser in the bedroom and I'd like to keep them all in one spot. So this is where it's gonna go. Next, this organizer fits perfectly in here, but I only have one of them and Target is on my nose no spend for February. Now I do have this blue one and it will fit in this space and I really, really wanted it to match. So maybe if it still bothers me in March, I'll go to Target and buy the matching white one. So I'm gonna put my charger specific to my earbuds and my Fitbit so I know exactly where it's at and also lotions because it's February and my skin has been getting extra dry. Now for the top of it, it won't be a catch-all anymore because I have the drawers down below. And with one of my Christmas gift cards, I bought this bracelet stand because currently I have been making these beaded bracelets again. I change them out every day. And as a butterfly, I love that I get to see them and it's easy 
to put them away. And over here, I have my pink polka dot bin, which I know has my older sentimental items in it. I will take it to the basement with the other pink polka dot bins. And right above it, I have this little tub that I kept the kids' cards in, and that'll go into storage as well. And to my pleasant surprise, I have a lot of tossy tossies. We have definitely done the work because all of this is going. Now, this is all going to get recycled as best as it can. And now this once messy hot spot looks so much better. And I do love how this came out, especially the bracelets. And the drawers look great too because this is something I can easily do. I can easily open the drawer and put it away quickly. That will work for me, my habits, and my ADHD. Now, I had some great advice to put a little trash can over here. But what I realized was that I literally have a trash can six feet away from that hot spot. So my question is, do I just buy the little trash can and put it maybe in this little corner? Or do I try to adjust the habit and just walk the five steps to throw it away. I would love to hear in the comment section below what you think so that we can make this space more functional.